guys. I just swam over to say hi to our new allies, and uh, he's got the Gulker! He's on the open fire! In the Sea of Thieves, there is no surrender. There is, however, a way to inform hostiles that you won't give them the satisfaction of a fight. What makes this different from the Alliance flag is the lack of innocence. If a Reaper attacks this, you'll feel as though they tricked you even if they didn't. But if they attack this, they get less out of it. The white flag says, I'm here, I don't want to deal with your bullshit, and I'll just stare at you killing me until you get bored. The black flag means, don't fuck with me, and I won't fuck with you. These crews won't inherently be hostile, but if you plan on attacking them, they're letting you know they're ready for you. Bearers of the black flag are also a vengeful bunch, and will harass you until you rage quit for slighting them. This is used similarly to the black flag, only it has the addendum of, but if you want to be allies, we're cool with that. If you approach a black flag, they assume danger. If you approach a checker, they'll switch to the alliance flag. These players are often naive, which more devious crews often take advantage of. You just pissed off a black flag, and now they're counterattacking. All bets are off, and you're probably gonna die. There's a beautiful level of honesty at play here, though. When you see a Jolly Roger, there's no deceit, there's no lies of friendship and cooperation, there is only death, and I can respect that. Before the Emissary system, this was the only way to say, I'm here, come fight me. Unfortunately, most players don't use it this way. The experienced pirates see no reason to throw away stealth opportunities, and noobs just see a cool-looking red flag and pick it because it's badass. This often gets them killed. It's also used as a tool for server hopping to form alliance servers or to be with your friends in separate crews. What I'm about to say pains me, but most people who fly this flag are trolls who are mocking LGBT people. Oh sure, it looks like a friendly flag, but keep your guard up when one of these sails towards you. I'm the bad guy? Yeah. How'd that happen? These ships are always hostile, but they're banking on the stupid idea that other players will assume they're not hostile just because they're not one of these. It's kinda too late for that one, guys. Anyone with this flag should be on your kill-on-sight list because they sure as hell won't hesitate to kill you. There are always Reaper Sweats who will greatly overestimate the usefulness and range of blunderbombs. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop. Ever. Until you are dead. <laughs> You'll usually only see these on galleons, and these crews are always obsessed with forts. They'll never join your alliance, they'll just attack you. They're not the brightest crayons in the tool shed, though, and aren't too difficult to deal with. It's as if the more Pirate Legend stuff you equip, the worse you become. Also, the entire crew will always have the Curse of Legends, no exceptions. It has nothing to do with theming, it's just the only impressive thing they have, so by god they'll flaunt it. With Kraken ships, it's a mixed bag. With bilge rat crews, they're all scary motherfuckers. These guys are some of the deadliest people on the Seven Seas, and while they're not opposed to alliances, they rarely communicate. These guys are basically the Krakens, the only difference being the Krakens are always brigs, and shark hunters are always galleons. No one uses this. Everyone knows the real Reaper flag is this one. It's even the one Rare used in the Emissaries video. It's a cool flag and all, but it was dead on arrival. This ship is an unpainted sloop or brig, never a galleon, and despite the flag, they most likely have lots of gold hoarder trinkets instead of skulls. These guys are open crew and don't talk much. They're profoundly unaware of their surroundings and will try to repair their ship without trying to kill their attacker, as if they can't see them. At least one of their crew members will be good at fighting, but he can't exactly win a fight by himself. None of this makes sense to me, but it's what I've observed. Friendship ended with Royal Sovereign, now gold hoarder is my best friend. You see this? You know what this is? I'll tell you what it's not. The Alliance flag. As such, these guys are not friendly. This flag exploded into popularity recently with the addition of trade routes, and now the average merchant emissary would rather fight to the death than make an alliance, even if it's with a rank 5 gold hoarder holding 200 captain's chests. They don't want anyone making a profit off of their work. The capitalist machine must be oiled with the blood of pirates. Same thing I just said about the merchant flag, only this time it applies to fishermen. Real fishermen have the Alliance flag, so anyone using these is trying to lure you into a false sense of security. Parrot flags on a ship that's otherwise not parrot-like is a sign that the crew is going to be super whiny and complain when you attack them. Actual parrots don't use the parrot flag, they use the Alliance flag. 
Crews who use this flag can only be found hiding in a pirate legend hideout for some reason, but as soon as you sink them for occupying the outpost, they'll come out of hiding and get real angry. These guys are similar to the Dark Parrot, only these guys are a pimped out Emporium Galleon because they're streamers. And all they do for three hours is sit at the outpost, staring at the Twitch chat, responding to viewers once every five minutes even though nothing else is going on. Remember the PvP or stereotype? This is the flag he uses. It's less aggressive than a skull, but still indicates I'm not friendly, prepare for fisticuffs. You'll never see this flag on anything but a sloop. This is similar to the Hunter, but these guys have terrible connection and will rubber band around like crazy. They're also usually open crew, so they don't know each other, but despite these setbacks, they still somehow manage to be a thorn in everyone's side. If you see a Morningstar, you may want to resupply, because you can sink them 50 times and they're not going to fuck off. Doesn't matter what color it is, these guys are arrogant assholes on sloops or brakes, who will say GG easy or something of that regard, even if they lose. Ash and Dragons are always hostile brakes. That's about it. Surprisingly, both of these guys are hostile. Red is upfront about it and will charge your ship, whereas Blue will often do a fake retreat for a water kicking. Nobody uses the red one, only the pink one. These are often aggressive sloops or galleons, and they all use the blunderbuss and sword. They'll try to swarm you in groups, but their aim isn't very good. You're a day one player, and you try to avoid conflict whenever possible. The reason you don't have this bad boy is because you're afraid of disappointing or angering your allies for not pulling your weight, since you take the game at a much slower pace. You love the Fort of the Damned, and constantly complain that there aren't any white pants in the game, even though there's like four pairs, and the mercenary pants are one of them. You're a sea hobo. For context, watch this video. You're a toxic PvE server advocate who threatens to report anyone who sinks you because of harassment. It's a pirate game, guys. You're gonna get sunk sometimes. Get over it. Wild Roses are obsessed with Tall Tales, but none of them ever have the Gold Force. If they're one of the Thorn Roses that I previously mentioned, they don't use this flag. They use the Dark Kraken one instead. These flags match your clan cape. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing on the Sea of Thieves subreddit? Sir, complaining about keyboard players having it easier than the controller players. This is the Reaper's mark for people who don't want to be tracked. You know, people with common sense. Also, these players won't shut up about how the sails are based on Blackbeard's flag. We know. Everyone knows. We get it. You're not special. Thanks for watching. More of these on the way, but I have no idea when. That's about it. Have a good one.